This week, let's talk about how to make an A on visualization assignment number two, creating a bar chart, pie chart, and a histogram. Now, the first thing we're going to do right here is download the file. This may be under the files tab or connected to the assignment itself, like it is right here. So go ahead and click this file, download it to your computer, and make sure you have jump installed. If you see the icon right there, you have jump installed. Now let's go ahead and copy the instructions and we're gonna bring them over to a Word document to make sure we follow each step along the way. We'll open up our Word document and drop in these instructions. With everything ready to go, it's time to go into Jump. Let's do it. If you have Jump installed on your computer, you should be able to click the file right here and it'll open up the file inside of Jump for you. Now, if you don't have Jump installed, make sure to install it and feel free to ask any questions if you can't get it installed. Let's take a look at this file right here. This file has in it movies with their release date, their distributor, their genre, their sales in millions of dollars, their rating, their tickets sold, their years, their detailed type, raw sales, and raw ticket sales. So with everything right here, we can get a bunch of information on all of these different movies. We can see categorical variables. We can also see quantitative variables. All the different variable types are even represented, even an identifier. Right here, rank is going to be the rank of the movie, and we don't have any ties, so this would identify each individual movie throughout this whole data set. So rank right here can be used as an identifier because there are no ties. It is unique for each and every observation in this data set, making it the identifier that we could use in this data set. Now that we understand our data, the first thing we need to do is take a random sample. So let's go over here to tables, and subset, and then we are going to click right here and put in seven plus the last two of our UTID. Make sure this is your UTID, such as if it ended in 29, you'd enter 729. We can go ahead and click OK, and it'll select the random sample size, and we have now created our random sample. Make sure you are using your random sample throughout this visualization assignment. Now with our random sample, let's go ahead and take a look at the first question. The first thing we're gonna do right here is make a bar chart. Now a bar chart is a univariate display of categorical data. What does that mean? Univariate means one variable, like you're asking one question like, what is your hair color? And things like hair color are categorical, which means it puts things into groups. So hair color is a univariate categorical question, and we can make a bar chart with the analyze distribution platform inside of Jump. So let's go back to Jump now. Now inside of Jump, let's go to Analyze Distribution, where we can make univariate graphics and analyze univariate data. We're gonna go ahead and click this, and we're gonna double click Genre. This will be the Y variable of interest. And what do we mean by the Y variable? It's the variable we want to analyze, like why is this happening? So we make a graphic to kind of understand it and also talk about the numbers within it. Once we have this double clicked, let's go ahead and click OK. Now that we have our bar chart, the first thing we want to do is put it into horizontal layout. Let's go ahead here and click the red arrow and go to stack. This will put the bar chart into horizontal layout. Now I like to take up a little bit more space with my graphic, so I'll go ahead and grab the bottom edge right here and expand it. If you notice, I can still see all the names of the categories on the bottom. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read, but there's a few other things we are missing. We're gonna to go to the red arrow where all the options are at, and we're gonna click right here and go to histogram options, and we are going to go to count access. Although it says histogram options, this is a bar chart because it is categorical data. This will add a count access right here along the edge of it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click again on the red arrow, and we're gonna to go to histogram options, and we're going to show the counts. So since we have a count access, I thought it would be appropriate to show the counts also. And what do these counts mean? Well, 227 movies, were classified as drama. We have here that 30 movies were classified as horror. You'll need to include parts of this in your write-up. Do not forget the write-up. That's a very important part of the assignment, which I don't cover thoroughly here, but make sure you know how to understand what this graphic is telling you about the data. The last step with this graphic right here is to take a nice screenshot. We could go up here to distribution and change its name if we want of movie genres. And we could go right here. We could call this bar chart. You do not have to do that, but I like to make my screenshots as good as possible and just show you a few more options inside of Jump. Let's click here to the snipping tool and take a good screenshot. 
If you have a PC, it is Snipping Tool. If you have a Mac, it is Command Shift 4. Now, when you take your screenshot, make sure you take one that only gets the picture, doesn't cut off any edges. Make sure you take a great screenshot. You are graded on taking a good screenshot. We're not gonna be too picky, but make sure it's a nice looking screenshot like this one. Now, I'm gonna go back to my Word document here. Here's a big thing, do not include the instructions when you submit your homework, but you could use the instructions as kind of a guideline right here. One, I'm gonna make sure that I have everything that we have in here, the bar chart and frequencies. We have all this right here, and we have the counts or the percentages above the bars. So we have everything we need. It kind of lets me look at it. And since I've got all of this completed right here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these parts of it, just so I know I've completed those parts of the assignment. I'm not gonna write the short write-up here. This is for you to do. Include a short write-up of the largest three genres and their values in the graphic. So go ahead and take a look at your graphic and include a short write-up. Now that we have our bar chart, let's go to the second part here, which is to make a pie chart. And a pie chart is a univariate display of categorical data also, just like a bar chart. One of my favorite things is you can make a bar chart of your favorite pies and a pie chart of your favorite bars. And think about it, bars, pies, pies, bars. They go together. You should remember that bar charts and pie charts both display univariate categorical data. So technically we could have made that into a pie chart. But let's go ahead and make the MPAA into a pie chart using Graph Builder. So let's go back into Jump right here. To make the pie chart, we're gonna to go to Graph and then we're gonna to go to Graph Builder. Now this allows you to graph all different types of data and we're gonna graph MPAA as a pie chart. The different options up top let you pick between different graphics. We've got all different options from box plots to histograms to pie charts. So now that we have our pie chart, we just need to add either the percentages or the labels on top of it. That'll give the data context. So let's go down here to no labels and we could put the values on top of it or we could put the percentages. Since we did values on the last one, I'm gonna do percentages here. Now, one big thing you need to do is you need to click done. This will finalize your graphic. I'm going to then change this right here to call this pie chart of MPAA. And now we've labeled it. With this right here, we just need an amazing screenshot. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna click here and use Command Shift 4 on a Mac or Snipping Tool on a PC. And here we go, let's take a great screenshot. And there we go, great screenshot. Let's go ahead and put that in our Word document. So let's go into Word here. We're just gonna paste our document in and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink it down. I don't want it that big, that's quite large for the screen. And then I'm gonna center it and there we go. We've got it nice and neat in there. Let's make sure we have everything we want. Let me get a little bit bigger there. That's excellent. So let's see, we have a pie chart, univariate display of categorical data. It has either the values or the percent on top of it to give it context. And we did click done, very important thing right there. I'm gonna delete these instructions off so I don't leave them in my report. Make sure you are only turning in a well-written, good-looking report right here where you include the write-ups and your graphics look great. We need to include a short write-up over this, going over the moving ratings and their counts or percentages in descending order. So make sure to talk about this and include this in your short write-up. But this leads us to our last one right here to make a histogram. Now this is slightly different. A histogram is a univariate display of quantitative data. That means we're gonna ask one question, like how old are you? And it's gonna be a quantitative question, which means it's actual real numbers. We need to put it into a horizontal layout and we need to have a count axis on it. And then we just need to take a screenshot, including the histogram, the quantiles and the summary statistics and put it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we're back inside of Jump, let's go to Analyze Distribution. This is once again, where we analyze univariate data. It can be quantitative or categorical. And from here, we're gonna double click tickets sold in millions. And now we get our histogram. We can go ahead and click the top red arrow where all the options are at, and we're gonna click stack, which will put it into horizontal layout. From the horizontal layout, I'm just gonna make some fine adjustments right here to make this a little bit larger and easier to see the histogram. And there's a very, very kind of um, pulled out shape to it, and I'm skewed if you get what I'm saying. And if you wanna know which way it's skewed, always remember right to the high, left to the low, whatever way the tail goes, and I'll show you a trick here in a second we can go ahead and add the last few features in that we need to know. We're gonna click the red arrow here and we're gonna add in histogram options and go to count access. Now this gives us our screenshot. This is everything we need for the assignment regarding the picture. Make sure to do your write-ups. I can't state that enough. I have not done any of the write-ups. That's for you to do. Command Shift 4 on a Mac or Snipping Tool on a PC. We're gonna to go here 
and take a nice screenshot, get everything included, including the quantiles and the summary statistics. Now that we have everything, let's go over to Word and make sure we put it in here and see how it looks. Now everything is readable. If we zoom in just a little bit, everything looks great right there. Now a quick way to remember which way the skew goes is remember right to the high, left to the low, whatever way the tail goes. So if you were to draw a little monster on top of this right here and give him a little smiley face, you can see the monster's tail goes to the right side. So right to the high, left to the low, whatever way the tail goes. I'm a little bit reversed image on here. So right to the high, left to the low, whatever way the tail goes. And this guy's tail right here goes to the right. So just remember that skew is right to the high, left to the low, whatever way the tail goes. Another important thing to remember about skew also is that we oftentimes see that the mean is going to be higher than the median when a distribution is skewed. And so the median is highlighted in the middle right there. The median is specifically this one right there. So the mean is higher than the median due to the skew. And make sure you know that the mean and standard deviation are two things that we pair together. So whenever we use the mean, we also use the standard deviation. But whenever we use the median, we use the IQR, and those are measures of center and spread. Mean and median being measures of center. It's a good note to take. Mean and median are measures of center, and standard deviation IQR are measures of spread. And you can see right here, the IQR is the distance between these two right here. So make sure you pick the right center and spread to use based on the shape. So take a look at the shape right here. And then from there, you should have an idea of which center and spread to use, and you'll be including this in your write-up. If you follow these steps right here, you should make a great grade, if not 100. And feel free to email us if you have any additional questions. Good luck.